Drinking beer because it's Christmas. La 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 la. Two Canadian guys trying weird beers. Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! Okay, I'm Ed. This is my son Zach. We're getting guys trying weird beers. And today we're focused on surviving Whamageddon. Whamageddon? Yep. What the hell is that? It is a Christmas challenge where you try to uh, go about your day until the 24th, Christmas Eve, without uh, listening uh, or hearing uh, Last Christmas by Wham. <laughs> I accept the challenge. And if you work in retail, you're exempt. Yeah, because you're doomed. Doomed, I told you. There's, there's, there's really no good way to avoid it. Nope. Like, you're getting whammed everywhere. You're getting whammed upside the head. Anywho. Okay. So, uh, ha, 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 ho, ho, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, uh, season's greetings, because it's Christmas, as you can see. I changed my Christmas hat, by the way, in case you hadn't noticed. I actually didn't notice. Well, I'm glad you don't solve crimes for a living. Anywho. So, we got beers. We got Christmas beers, because ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. We got Christmas beers. Nothing says the holidays like rushing through the intro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, why? Because beeriness is cheeriness, particularly during the holidays. Yeah. We match our Christmas cheer with Christmas beer. And, uh, and of course, we're here when you don't want an expert opinion. And that's particularly important during the holidays, I think. I don't know why, but I think it's important. Don't you want, like, like a holiday expert? Not for beers. I want a holiday in expert, and that's us. Yes, uh, our, our wonderful inexpertise will engulf you. Like a miasmic cloak. Almost suffocating you, yet not. Anywho, but before we get to the beers, we've got the Christmas palate cleanser. Anytime, man. Oh, I, I don't know. You, you, you were doing a thing. I was trying. I, to... I, I was trying to change it up because it's Christmas. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, uh, speaking of changing up, can I? Can you what? Can I, can I change it up from last time? No. We're having Christmas brandy, and you better get used to the idea. Unfortunately, we're having stock eighty-four brandy, which is older... which is probably better than stock eighty-three brandy. This thing's gonna make me humbug my pants. Okay, in for a penny, in for Prancer. <sighs> Smooth. Liar. Oh, now I'm all tingly. All right, what do we got? Well, the first beer that we have is, I guess it's a Christmas beer. It's from Overflow Brewing Company. It's a Belgian-style wit. You know, like Hercule Poirot. Oh, oh, hello. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, look how witty I am. Anywho. <laughs> who, who in the what? Hercule Poirot. He's a Belgian detective created by Agatha Christie. Oh. You know, he was played on in the movies by, uh, what's his name there? Uh, Harry Conklin. No. What's his name? Fred Travelina. Oh, man. That would be awesome. Uh, what's his name? Uh... Mm. The guy uh, who was married to the, that actress. Oh, him. Yeah. yeah. He's British. Uh, Basil McGillicuddy. No. Anyway. That's a very British name, actually. He's, play, he's played Hercule Poir Poirot twice. Kenneth Branagh? Yeah, Kenneth Branagh. That's a guy, you know. Basil McGillicuddy, Kenneth Branagh, they, they're, they're almost exactly the same in sound. Anyway, so uh, we've got the, the beer is called... <clears throat> Rise and shine, Belgian style wit. And it's got the holiday bear. Look at this, the holiday beer, because it's Christmas time. We've got the holiday beer. No, bear. bear. <laughs> We've got a holiday beer with a holiday bear. That's the most innocent Freudian slip anyone's ever had. I like to think I'm an innocent. Anywho, it says, uh, taste classic wit with herbal spice complexity. For a full wheat body and citrus finish. Citrus finish. Finish. F finish. Aroma. Orange, fresh ginger, coriander, and cardamom. Ooh. Hops, sterling. Malt. Extra pale, flaked wheat, flaked rye, ESB. Esba. I like the Esba malts. 
Why be you a 14? What does ESB stand for? Uh, extra sensory uh, beer. This beer can see the future. Yeah, and it's saying, you guys better stop. Anywho, okay, so it's only 4.6% uh, alcohol by volume, which is nothing. Ha! I laugh at you. Bear, bear beer. It's beer a beer. beer. It's a beer to start the holidays. There you go. Let's yeah. start with this one. Work your way up. Speaking yeah. of working your way up to the holidays. Oh, we got another one from Whippersnapper. Ooh, we've had Whippersnapper before. And this is <laughs> quite possibly one of my favorite uh, beer names, Nog Hog. <laughs> now that's a Christmas beer. It's an eggnog white stout. Ooh, oh, oh, man. It's uh, uh, 5.4% with an Ibu of 12, and it's uh, considered festive, fun, and creamy, which is on my uh, dating profile. Eggnog. <laughs> <laughs> what else needs to be said? A very strange traditional drink that we assume was started to help tolerate visitors. We decided that a white stout would be a perfect base for this eggnog-inspired beer. Sweetness from milk sugars, along with traditional Xmas spices, cinnamon, nutmeg, and vanilla to make this a festive treat to help you through the season. Is there a question mark at the end? Nope. Oh, you just added that? Yep. Okay. I like when, uh, when actors take liberties with the material. Well, I'm looking forward to this one. I'm intrigued. Where do you want to stout? Start, stout, <laughs> start, that made me bad? Where do you want to stout? Well, I, I feel like it's destiny calling us towards this. I think so. If I make that kind of flub? I think we got to start with the Nog Hog. As you always do on a date. I, I think I've only had Egg Dog once. Like, I, uh, but boozy Egg Nog. I can't remember. Is, is Egg Nog not naturally boozy? I don't think it's supposed to be. I don't know. Uh, if, if, you, if, if you know what the story is with Egg Nog and if it's supposed to be boozy, boozy, leave a comment down below. And while you're at it, like and subscribe. And ring the bell and stuff like that. Oh, look at that redemption. Pure redemption, right? Yeah. Redemption song. This beer is the best I've ever had. Okay, let's smell this beer. It smells like like raw baked goods with egg in it. It smells weird. I'm smelling some weird stuff. But I can't, I can't for the life of me tell you what they are. Is it the eggnog, the milk sugars, the sweetness, the spices, cinnamon, nutmeg, and vanilla? <sighs> it smells like fresh bandages. Okay. No, there is a, I don't know, something. A little bit of vanilla. A little bit I'm of vanilla. I'm smelling other stuff. I don't know, are there supposed to be spices in here? Yeah, like vanilla. Cinnamon, nutmeg, vanilla. Okay, it doesn't smell like eggnog. So, there you go. You, you have no idea what eggnog smells like. I don't, well, I, I can't really remember. I think it smelled like French toast. But the, 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 the eggnog I, uh, that I had had a ton of vodka in it. Okay, so, so for you, eggnog smells like vodka. A little bit. Anywho, well, I guess we should just drink it. Wow, that is all over the place. Wow. I taste the spices for sure. Wow. And if I had a better sense of what eggnog... Uh, tasted like it might taste like that too, but I don't. Like it's got the creaminess. It it definitely has that. There, there's that little bit of sweetness. It's 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 not very bitter. It's weird. My brain's telling me don't like it. It's not good. But my heart's saying, hey, this is kind of tasty. Who do I listen to? Well, you know what? It's Christmas, so I listen to my heart. A very uh, provocatively flavored beer. The the Christmas spices, kind of. Punch your tongue right at the beginning and then go away. You know what? Now I've tasted it. I think this would be perfect for the holidays. This is a perfect Christmas beer. Yeah, no, it, it, it tastes like Christmas. I'm digging it now. I'm digging it be in the spirit of the holidays. This and is a very interesting. Uh, it is festive. It is fun. It is kind of creamy. It, it's got a lot of flavor to it. Man, this has got flavor. It's got, it's got the weight of a stout without any of the traditional taste of a stout. Yeah, absolutely. So the only thing to do is do our thing. All right, let's 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 crank this hog. Okay. It's Ocarino time. Ugh. 
the after when you chug it, the aftertaste is really weird. That so, something really comes in very heavy. Yeah. I I I mean I wouldn't it it can chug, but I wouldn't because this is I think a holiday beer, which is meant to be I, I guess savored because it's got a it's got a lot of flavor. Yeah. So yeah, okay. That one was good. Yeah. Hooray! I, I can do this one. Yep. And uh, what's next? We're having a holiday palate cleanser. Fa la 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 la. Uh, fuck me. That doesn't like it, but too bad for him. Fa la 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 la. Okay, I'm not sure how the brandy's gonna mix with the hog nog or the nog hog. It's gonna mix as well as it does with anything else. Awful. Because this stuff sucks. Oh, it does not. It absolutely does. You cannot. It tastes so bad, and you you're know gonna, it You're going to embrace this uh, that bottle by the end of uh, the Christmas holidays. I've embraced plenty of things and people that I don't particularly like. That's very Christmas-like. I, I guess. Love thy neighbor, even if thy neighbor's a douche. <laughs> That's like Ezekiel, isn't it? He saw the wheel, and he said, hey, love thy neighbor, even if thy neighbor's a douche. Anywho, okay, here we go. I think it's getting smoother. It's the smoothest Santa's bunion. <laughs> well, if you sand down Santa's bunion, it's as smooth as silk. Silky bunion. All right, Kringle, unboot! <laughs> you know, Silky Bunyan used to be my stage name. Okay, uh, so now we're doing, oh, we're doing the uh, the bear. I wish I could say this was an actual Christmas beer, but it's just got a I'm not, bear on I'm it. not doing the bear. I don't swing that way. Stop it. Yeah. Hey, if you really want to feel Christmassy, just, just sh show the bear on the cover and just put a Christmas hat on him. That has... Oh, man, it smells like old Chinese food. You forgot in the back of your refrigerator, and then you discovered it weeks later. You know, it, it's really... And you're pondering whether you should give it a go or not. It's really interesting that the, you talk about how, how this smells like rice, because it's got a very similar scent to when I've had, like, Asahi and Sapporo. It's got this, this very, like, rice beer kind of smell to it well it says on the can that the aroma is orange fresh ginger coriander and cardamom so that explains a lot i i definitely smell the ginger i smell the professor and marianne <laughs> after all that time on the island i imagine they're quite musky <laughs> <laughs> no showers on the island hey i wonder how they they uh they celebrated christmas on gilligan's island you can get lights unless Unless the professor figured out how to, uh, you know, uh, luminous coconuts or something. Oh, he he was a he was a clever boy. I imagine he figured it out. Nobody remembers what his name was because he was just referred to as professor or the professor. Uh, professor Funtuggin. Uh, no, that's a different island. That's a, that's a Jeffrey Epstein's island. <sighs> <laughs> no, his name was Roy Hinckley. So yeah. Professor, professor Hinckley. Someone did remember his name. Well, I did. That's it, but that's because I'm a TV nerd. Anywho. All right. Well, I'm curious. Yep. That is a Belgian citrusy wheat beer. Yeah, I was hoping there would be more of a Christmas vibe to it. <clears throat> you know. What are you it, talking about? It's got it's got the holiday bear. It's got ginger is is a holiday spice probably. Uh, you you make uh, gingerbread cookies in gingerbread houses. Yeah. And gingerbread companions if you're a lonely man. Anywho, the spices are a little strong. Well, they they say it has urban spice or no urban herbal spice as a taste. What did, what did I get urban? What the hell's an urban spice? Perhaps it's the marijuana that people grow in their apartments. Again, this beer has a lot of yeah. flavor. It, yeah, it, it's got that like rice beer fartiness to it. He means that in a good way. 
like I could see these spices working in something stronger like like a white stout. But in a Belgian beer, I think they are a bit heavier handed. It's it's a little bit strong. It's it's really really tasty though. The yeah, a... the orange, the ginger, the coriander all come through. The cardamom's probably there too. I I I'll be honest. I don't I don't use cardamom all, all, enough to really know what it smells like on its own. I think um, it's used a lot in Indian cooking. Yes, it's it's you yeah it's used in a lot of curries. Look at me with the big brain. Um, <laughs> Anywho. So, uh, yeah, I don't mind this this one. No, it's it's really nice. It's tasty. It's, it's unusual. So it's not like a mass market beer. You know, uh, be forewarned. It's got a lot of punch. Anywho. So uh, I guess we'll do the thing. It's Chuggerino time. That's perfectly chuggable. It's it's a Belgian beer. It's yep. you can chug that. Okay, so you know what I'm gonna do. Oh God. I'm tasting the smuts because it's Christmas time. Ooh. <laughs> Give it a good swirl. Make sure that all the flavors get to know each other. Out of your partners. Bounce the the, across the hall. Bounce the eggnog across the hall. <laughs> and that is all. Don't come after us, Warner Brothers. I might not be home for Christmas because I'm drinking the schmutz. Got a weird smell that may be my death knell. We won't really know till I've tried it. Okay, I've put this on long enough. I'm just going to do it. Oh, wow. Not bad, actually. What? Well, you got two uh, really uh, crazy flavorful beers, and they came together, and rather than, than, than uh, fight each other, they decided to, let's have a party, and decided to dance together. They decided to join hands in the, in the spirit of Christmas. So in the spirit of Christmas, it wasn't the worst... Uh, schmutz I've ever had. Sabu Dori, Sabu Dori. There we go. Christmas time is full of beer. Okay, so, um, that, uh, the, the movie comparison, uh, rating, uh, comparison thing that you do. What do you say? What do you know? How do you do? Who do you spank? These are both actually really nice beers. They're both really good in their own right. I don't know if together they add up to Christmas because like one half of it is definitively Christmas, right? The other half, uh, we're, we're, we're putting a Christmas hat and saying, yeah, don't worry, it's there. So I, I, I think you, you could debate if both of these equal Christmas for a long time, and but they're both still really good and... They were so much fun to drink, and that's why these get these get a, a nightmare before Christmas out of ten. A nightmare before Christmas out of ten. It's weird. Some people consider a nightmare before Christmas a Christmas movie. Some people consider a Halloween movie. Yeah, I'm on the fence. I think, and that's... we all know how painful that could be. I should get out soon. <laughs> if you think a nightmare before Christmas is a Christmas movie, leave a comment down below and say yes, it is. And you think that it's a Halloween movie, also leave a comment below saying, No, no it's not. But also, hit the like button. Yeah, I think I said that. I think I made an impassioned plea earlier. You now, did. Now, now we just come off as, as desperate and pathetic. Anywho, but ho, 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 Merry Christmas. So I guess we're done. I guess that's it. We've, uh, we've talked a bit about the uh, nightmare for Christmas. Oh, yeah. This is so Christmassy! None more Christmassy than this thing. You know, The Grinch, Scrooge, Miracle on 34th Street, Karate Kid 3. This is a combination of all of them. All 
all the, all, all the traditional Christmas movies that you watch. Yep. That's it. Okay. We're not christmas out yet because, you know, we've still got uh, many weeks, no, at least two more weeks of Christmas, I think. Two or three. I don't know. I've lost, yes. you know, time has no meaning here. Anyway, okay, so I'm Ed. This is my son, Zach. We're two Canadian guys trying weird beers. Uh, was that festive and Christmassy enough? Super festive. Really? You cannot get more crest, uh, crestive than us. I'm concerned because, you know, it is Christmas. I, I want us to exude Christmas. I, I want to I wanna ooze Christmas from our pores. I mean, okay, that sounds more disgusting than I'd like. But you know what I'm saying. I'm just dripping with eggnog. I'm dripping with the love of Christmas.